Hello from Germany. There's a lot to consider when trying to get your pet over here, and it can get overwhelming. But with the help of this video, we'll give you a better idea of what you need to do to get your pet over here in Deutschland. Start your pet process as soon as possible, and with the help of this video, we'll help you with your pet PCSing process. Isn't that right? First, you'll want to read the international regulations for exporting and importing animals. You can find the information from the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service website. Search their name and navigate by clicking Animal Health, Export from the U.S., and IREGs for Animal Exports. Since export-import requirements frequently change, make sure you obtain the current requirements. Remember, you're responsible for your pet's immunizations, documentations, and border clearance requirements. If they're not completed, that can delay your PCSing or keep your pet from coming with you. Come on. Germany specifically requires that imported pets have a 15-digit ISO microchip. If your pet was tagged previously with a smaller digit microchip, as is common in the United States, then you will either need to bring a microchip scanner with you wherever you go in Europe, or get them re-tagged with a 15-digit ISO microchip. Remember to get your pet microchipped before their rabies vaccination, or they'll have to get re-vaccinated. And keep in mind that a rabies vaccination has to be at least 21 days old before they're allowed to come overseas. So plan accordingly. Next, you'll need an international health certificate stamped by a USDA certified veterinarian. Not all veterinarians are USDA certified, however. If that's the case, you'll need to take your certificate to an APHIS office. You could also mail it to the APHIS office, but keep in mind, the certificate is only good for 10 days, so plan accordingly. Once stamped, scan email or fax the completed document to your airline two to three days before travel. Airlines require at least three inches from the top of the kennel to the top of the ears or head of the animal inside. There also needs to be air holes on all four sides of the kennel. Air holes on three, the gate on the front. Also, there could be no opening on the top of the kennel. And make sure that you put your contact information on the kennel as well, animal's name as well as address. It also needs to be secured with both metal bolts and nuts. It's metal, no plastic. On the inside, make sure that you secure two bowls, one with water, one with food. Ice is also recommended instead of water because it melts over time. Make sure you put absorbent material on the bottom of the kettle. And remember, no toys are allowed. Some pets that are 17 pounds or less can fly in the cabin with you as long as they're in a soft-sided kennel that can fit under the chair. And some airlines allow you to fly your pet as checked baggage. The price varies based on the size of the kennel and the kennel plus the pet's weight. Be thoughtful of the season. Many airlines will not allow animals to be checked baggage or in cargo hold if the outside temperature is below 45 degrees Fahrenheit or above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Dropping off your pet before the flight sometimes requires you to check in at least one to three hours before the flight. If your pet traveled as checked baggage, then you should see them when you pick up your luggage, depending on the airport. If your pets fly cargo and go to a German international airport, well then they will be moved over to an airport animal lounge. There you'll pay an import fee as well as a vet care fee. The price can vary based on the airport, the season, even the day of the week. The animal lounge is in a separate part of the airport. Sometimes you'll even need to drive there, so keep that in mind. Once you're there, you'll go through customs, get your paperwork stamped. And keep in mind that this whole process could take anywhere from one to three hours. Like before, many of the rules that apply to commercial airlines also apply to airlines flying through to Ramstein. Kennels must be no larger than 20 by 16 by 8.5 inches. If the container does not meet requirements, you'll be placed in a duty standby status under administrative hold until your pet is travel ready. I hope this video gives you at least a starting point on how to get your pet over here in Deutschland. Remember to do your research and start planning ahead of time so you can get you and your pet over here as smoothly as possible.
We can't wait to see you. Zzzz.